Hello everyone and welcome. For this Figma quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to create conditional prototyping using variables. Don't mind the designs, just to showcase the prototyping features. I have the option to choose a profile, so I can choose if I want this to be detailed or simple profile. Then I will be asked to input name and age and have the option to share location, confirm location or add a location manually. I choose gender. As you can see here, I put detail only, so I want this to show only if detail profile is selected. If not, I want to be skipped. In the summary, I want this location and gender to be updated according to the selections add details button here I want it to show only if you choose complete profile so here are the rules I want to apply for this prototype if I choose detail profile I want to show the sliders page if I choose simple profile I want to skip the sliders page shell location if I toggle it on I want to show the map if I toggle it off I want to show the address input and in the summary location and gender I want to change accordingly to my selections so let's get right to it first of all I need to click outside everything to see these options here local variables I have already set some variables but I'll teach you how to create them I just need to click here create variable and select the kind of variable I want to create I want a color value a number a string which means text and boolean which basically a toggle on and off when I create a boolean I have the options to toggle on and off I won't do it all over again the same goes for this string won't be using so I'll delete it so these are the variables that are already created two boolean variables detail profile so I can turn on and off based on the selection at the first page share location also a boolean that I'll change according to the toggle and also string variables for the gender and for the location now let's see how I use this. I have detail profile set as true by default and this is my flow starting point so that means that at this level I have detail profile set to on. So now what I have to do is go to the prototype mode and add some interactions. I want this button here to change for this page which is just changing the selection. Click here on the interaction set it to on click it's the trigger. The action will be navigate to this page but also I can click here and add a new interaction that will be triggered by the same trigger. I'll choose set variable and then I can select the variable that I already created that detailed profile and I can set it to false remember that is default set it to true when I click here I want not only to navigate for this page to show other options selected but I also want this variable to be set as false and the same going back I want this interaction to be on click navigate to the previous page and set variable to true as you can see here so here's the variable and here's the value that's the first step then I want this to be a simple navigation to the next page at this page, I have these two fields here that are not important for this lesson. So I'll just add a simple navigation to a field version. But for this one, I have the toggle to share location. I created here a component for the toggle. I click the toggle off and I can click on the interactions. What I did here to unclick, I want first to set the variable share location to true and also change the component itself to the version that is toggle on. And at the same click, I will have the variable set to true and also change its state to the toggle on. Now I have to do the same for the toggle variation that is set to on. Add a click, I'll set the variable to false and change to the state that is toggled off. I'm doing this in the main components here because I don't have any other toggles throughout the flow. But if I did, what I could do is to set it directly in the component within the page. So I could select here, select click and change the options according to my needs. So feel free to do it if you have toggles in other places of your flow. As you can see here, I have set all the back buttons already to the or the back interactions. So it will always work going back to the previous screen. Now I have here the, the field page with the toggle interaction setting the master components. And now the navigation, I have to get this button here and click the interaction. So on click once again, I have to create a condition. What is this condition? If this toggle is set to on, I need it to show the map to confirm location. If the toggle is set to off, I need to show the address input. Remember that are the rules we set at the beginning. When I set click, I put here to add a condition as you can see here. The same as I have set variable, here I have conditional. You can change it here also for interaction that is already created. When I click if, I can see the variables here below. Share location equal to true. Now I need to set the result of this condition. Once I click it, it will check if share location set to true. Yes, then I'll have this interaction here that would be navigate to and I'll select the page that I want that will be this confirm location page here. But if it's not, I can add this else interaction here, which basically means, okay, if the share location is not set to true, which means if it's set to false, the action that will be triggered will be this one here. So I have navigate to address empty, which means if the toggle is set to on, it will come to this page here to confirm location. And if it's set off, it will come to this page here, add the address manually. So let's go to the next step. I'll come here. Remember that I had the string variable location info. So that will reflect the result label. Once I confirm it, I want it to change that locational info to live. So that's what will appear in the results page. It will change automatically. And also I want it to navigate to the gender page. So the same as I did before, I hit here, add it to set variable. I select the variable I want, uh, in this case, the location of info, and then I set the value that I want you to have going forward. I select navigate to, 
and the page that I want that will be the gender of the next one. The same goes for the manual location page. And for this case, I have location info set already to the manual input, but let's say I didn't, I had the select the same as gender. Then what I would do is to simply for this page here, I'll come for this next interaction here that's simple navigation. But now I also need to add the information according to my selection, which means basically add this value here to the location variable along with the navigation interaction i want this to have a set variable i'll select the location info add the same value one two three st going forward my location info we have the same value that i have here in the input let's go to the gender page so basically here i did the same with what i did with the toggle i have the segment button here i create the components in the component interaction in this mailbox here i set the interaction to on click set variable I select the gender variable that is a string and set the value to male. So that will reflect on our results uh, according to our selection here. And I'll do the same for the female. So when I click female, uh, set the variable gender to female, select this gender here, the string and add female here and also change to the state that is female select. Behind the scenes, according to my selection here, gender will be changing either to female or male. I also create a conditional because remember, our first condition is to have this page here, the step four, the sliders, only for detail profile. So if you have selected detail profile, it should come to this page. If not, you should skip it. So that's where we are going to put our condition. So I'll click here. As you can see here, I have this interaction on click. I already built it, but let's see how I did. So on click, I added here conditional. So if I have detail profile set to true, the result of this interaction will be to navigate to the sliders page. The else option is what happens if this condition is not true, which means if detail profile is set to false. If I choose simple profile, then what I'll simply do is to navigate straight to the summary, skipping this sliders page. For here, I have just a simple navigation to the result page. And here I have this location and gender. But now how do I make the selections I did previously reflect on this page here? First, I need to select these. And then I have this hexagon here, apply variable. So when I hit here, since it's a text, it will only show my string variable. So select location. The same goes for the gender and select gender here. It's not happening now because we're not playing with the prototype. So as you can see, since I put the default value to be selected for both, they have the select here. As I'm using the prototype and playing with the interactions, you'll see the changes. And last but not least, I want to make this available only for those who select detail profile. I have this I button. This is not very intuitive. Uh, I don't know why Figma doesn't make it easier, but it is how it is. The visibility icon, you can right click to see options of variable. And I'll select here detail profile. So since detail profile by default is set to true, then this will be here. But let me just show you what happens if I select local variables and set this detail profile to false as you can see it now vanishes I'll bring it back and now let's test it if all that we did here is actually working so come here to the starting point and I'll play my prototype so let's go for simple profile first since I'm selecting simple profile I shouldn't see the sliders so let's get started as I mentioned I put these only as simple interactions because they don't matter so I'll click any of these since I have the share location toggle set to off if I click next, I should see the address input page. Let's see. Okay, address input is here. If I go back, I set this to on. Now I should see the confirm location page. Okay, let's hit next. Now I have to choose the gender. So I have male set as default, but let's say I choose to change to female. When I hit next, I went straight to the summary. Since it was simple profile, I have no access to the sliders page. And as you can see here, location is set to live and gender is set to female according to our selections. So our options during the process are actually being reflected at this summary. Now for detailed profile, I'll hit start at this. I won't select share location. Next, I have the address location. I'll add it. When I hit next here, I should be able to see the gender. Let me go male this time. When I hit next, I should now see the sliders page because I'm doing a detail profile. So here you have it. When I hit next here, I should go to the summary. And now, as you can see, instead of live, set to one, two, three, street, which is the same value that I put in my input. And the gender now, instead of female, is male because that's what I was selecting. So that's it for this Figma quick tip. Thank you all for joining. I've been away for some time due to the lack of ideas to teach you. So if you have any questions or suggestions or anything you'd like to learn from me, please share in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. See you in the next video. Bye bye.